disputes. Um, you're going to be using the reasoning tool to connect each piece of evidence to the combined claim. Use the histogram um, that's below the reasoning tool as a visual support if needed. We have two claims. We have the original claim, the newt population became more poisonous because the snakes in this environment caused poison to become an adaptive trait. And we have the revised claim addition, poison level 10 is the most common because the newts with this trait were able to live longer and reproduce more than other newts. Underneath are claims that we're going to need to use, as the instruction said, for the therefore piece. Uh, in the tool, we have an evidence column, so we have uh, four pieces of evidence that you're going to need to reason. Uh, we have the this matters because, this is where you're going to put your reasoning why it matters, the evidence matters, so that we can support our claim, or claims in this case. So the first thing that we need to do is to combine these claims. Um, as it said, we can just combine them uh, by taking the uh, first original claim and copying that and just putting it down in therefore. Um, at the end, we're going to get rid of our period. We're just going to go comma and, and then we're going to add our addition. That poison level 10 is the most common. So we're going to copy that and add it. Now you're welcome to type all this, but you can copy and paste the two pieces together. And so now I have the revised claim that's all together. It says the new population became more poisonous because the snakes in this environment cause poison to be an adaptive trait and poison level 10 is the most common because the newts with this trait were able to live longer and reproduce more than other newts. So now we want to explain why this piece of evidence helps support this claim. What's the reasoning? And we're going to have to do that for each piece, but I'll help you out with the first one. So I'm going to remind you down at the bottom we have our histogram. It showed us that 50 generations ago there were no snakes. Today there are snakes, and the number of newts that are uh, not poisonous went from being most of them to being nearly, or to being gone. And the ones that are highly poisonous went from being very little to being most of them. That's the, the bigger portion. So we want to explain why this piece of evidence matters to our claim. So sometime between 50 generations ago and today, snakes became part of this newt's population environment. So adding snakes caused the newts to change. So we need to uh, come up with a statement that helps us um, do that. And here's my version that I uh, wrote up and copied here for you. So it says the newts that are the most common are the ones that have adapted traits to help them avoid being killed by the snakes. So now we have many more that are adaptive than we had before. So by introducing the snakes, we have more adapted ones that are able to avoid the snakes. And that's our reasoning for why it matters. Now you're going to need to do something like this for each one. Come up with the reason why this piece of evidence helps support the therefore claim that we have right here on the right. When you get to your writing for activity four, this therefore claim is going to be your first introductory statement and you're going to use the evidence and the reasoning and the evidence and the reasoning to support your claim, this therefore piece. So it's really important that you do a good job on this document so that you're better prepared to finish activity four as well. Hope that helps.